Okay, monthly test run of the list of diesel. See how she goes. Fuel is on, return line is in, accus are connected. And we'll give it a shot, see what happens. Try to get out of picture. Cell sequence, I'll get out of it quickly. sodium lamp uh, warms up. Um, I'm just in the process of running the sub mains from the generator. Uh, I drilled a hole through the floor here, uh, further up there, there it is. And I've got the four core 16 mil cables through the floor. Where the transfer switch is going to be, so I need to uh, attach this cable to the ceiling or to the joists and get it all the way through. So it's at the moment uh, loose. And uh, yeah, staple it on and uh, see how we go. Let's uh, stay tuned. Well, I got to uh, leave a little bit of an expansion loop here. Got the first uh, two homemade saddles in. And uh, yeah, I'll just carry on all the way up to there. Sodium lamp is nice and bright, so yeah, I'll try to do it all up. Oh, I've made some progress. It's pretty hot in here. I uh, got it all settled down. Only a second joist will do. Oh, well, set mains goes all the way here. And I'll go around the corner. Take your neutral screened aerial cable. It's got armor on the outside. Uh, it goes around here, goes a loop, and then it goes into the meter panel. Red, yellow, blue and a pilot and a screen. And I was pondering to fit next to a box but now I've decided to put some circuit breakers on the side. D32 for the house, three phase and then a couple of 16 and maybe 32 for other auxiliary circuits for the time being. Well, I've got the cable in. we we'll tidy it up a little bit, put some circuit breakers here and uh, inflation tested it on the cable. It's pretty good. Uh, between uh, 3.8 gig and 13 gig between the phases and everything else earthed and between oh, between phases and screens and between phases uh, between 12, 10 and 21 gigs I can't complain there so that's all pretty good so yeah, put that uh, air cushion on a few more tidy up things to do and then uh, yeah get the other side sorted out so this is the other side of the cable so I've got the transfer switch here and um, I'll tail down to 16, down to 10 mil, this is adequate for this setup here. And that's the generator side switch, the top part of the switch is going to load. Mains will go on the, in the side here on the left and then I'll plumb that into the metering above here. On this panel and it will disappear in the system here. So that's a little bit I still have to do. Uh, I have to relocate a few items temporarily, the hanging and the meter upside down, that's my reactive meter, but uh, that's okay for the time being. So this is uh, the next step I need to sort out, and then uh, we're going to do a test run. Might be still a few days away. Got some other stuff on today, but uh, try to get Australian made meters on the output. So, water, checking, loading, etc. Okay, I'm also going to replace this meter because it sits... Uh, 10 minutes, okay. This meter I need to replace because there's corrosion forming here. There you can see it. So I'm going to replace this. Then I'll put an uh, email meter on there. 316. Sweet one. It's gone around the clock three times, so done pretty good mileage. So that needs to be replaced. It's an S233. And now I'll swap these other wires over into this meter here, which is working quite hard. This meter is getting quite tired too, it's not a lot of mileage, you can see the noise. Not a place to today, but it'll be done in the future. So let's just go around the clock three times as well. So. Load, that's not too bad, it's about 25 ampere. 
And we go on the other meter, this is the MDI, so it's about 37, 35 pulsing because the washing machine is running. Yeah, got the other meter pulsing away a bit. And we replace that meter, the old S29.11, that starts having issues as well. There's a nice uh, email mark one here, we said uh, to zero, that's the one I rescued on the Gold Coast from an abandoned building, so that's going back in service today. So I'm just waiting um, a few minutes till everybody's ready to have the power turned off. So I've got all these meters hanging, oh, what happens here, okay. All these meters hanging open here and uh, yeah, sort some wires over. Can't meet an email mark one meter. Start zero. This pointer dials. This is beautiful Australian quality. Okay, finally gonna do the generator run and test voltages and uh, run the house on three phase and see what happens. Uh, fuel is on. Accu is on. Get out of the way. We fire it up. Click. Okay, the standby light is on. We're gonna do a quick transfer and we'll do voltage checks. Perfect. That one smooth. Everything appears to be happy. The house is off grid, I'll just quickly do the voltage checks here. Uh, phase 1, 233. Phase 2, 233. Phase 3, 228. That's good. And uh, we got the other ones, we got 398, 400, and 398. Perfect, I'm happy with that, that's good. I've got the house off grid. <coughs> it's a bit dark here, so we're going generator supply. I've got uh, the red indicator is generator, so if the blue light goes off, we uh, lost mains.
generator noise from our lounge. It's not too bad. Sounds quite good. Open a bit though, the pulling not by here. So the next step is I need to get a muffler so that I need to get it organized and then it's uh, all perfect. So here is the feed coming in. Um, I crimp some cables down to 10 mil. Um, so at the bottom left, you got uh, mains, pallet wire, hot water circuit, and switchboard two. Generator supply three phase, and some pallet fuses for the for the control indicators. Tidying up, I just put a shroud on here, not a scrap by it. So, <clears throat> okay, the final readings uh, 3.8, 4.0, 3 hour. That means it's auxiliary, so it hasn't moved and. Um, the power factor meter I still need to connect off and the power meter has advanced uh, to 1194 6 hours running time 